so let's see another problem in classical mechanics so find the inertia tensor for a uniform solid cube having h a and mass m about a vertex so in this what we need uh, to find is inertia tensor so we need to find tensor form of the inertia for a uniform solid cube so the cube is uniform means uniform distribution of mass is there and the cube is having uh, edge a so the length of length breadth height of the cube is nothing but a and mass mass of the cube uh, the center cube is capital m is the enter mass of this cube about a vertex so we need to find it about a vertex point moment of inertia about a by taking one of the vertices as the reference point about that vertex we are needed to find the moment of inertia so we may directly indicate i i j so we know that i um, formula for moment of inertia i is nothing but uh, summation m r square so where m is nothing but mass at a particular point and uh, r is nothing but distance of that point from the center of mass point or something like that the reference point which we have taken so here we need to take uh, the vertex of the cube uh, so this is the cube so that is nothing but like this it is like this actually it has to be like this so this is the cube and this is or the three axes so x y z like that so about certain vertex suppose this this is the vertex point so about this vertex point we need to find the moment of inertia uh, that is that uh, tensor so here it is given so i is nothing but summation m r square so that is the formula for i so here it is given in the formula that is i i x x is equal to integration of do, do of y square plus z square dx dy dz so actually here summation is replaced with integration because there is continuous distribution of mass if there is discontinuous distribution of mass we could use summation m r square formula but there is the distribution of mass the cube is continuous so uniform distribution of mass continuous distribution of mass because of that we could use integration sign integration sign integration here summation is replaced with uh, integration here because of the continuous mass distribution and uh, m r square so this is nothing but this is of the form r square y square plus z square is nothing but distance square like that and in the place of place of m what we are having is rho rho is nothing but mass per unit volume so mass per unit volume and this is also volume dx dy dz so both uh, cancelled and it uh, gives us the dimensions of m r square overall if we see and uh, the integration is done over the entire volume so for a small volume of the cube uh, it is uh, rho is nothing but mass per unit volume so for a unit volume of the cube this is the case moment of inertia m r square so for unit volume of the cube unit volume is not uh, just like one centimeter cube one meter cube like that for that unit volume mass distributed per unit volume uh, so that for unit volume of the cube this is the case mass present in unit volume of the cube multiplied with this uh, distance so but we need for the entire volume of the cube hence we need to do integration over entire volume so integration of dx dy dz like that and here ixs formula so in the ixs formula we are having distance uh, y square plus z square we are not having x square term that means we are finding moment of inertia about uh, x, x axis like that so why we are not having uh, x square term is so let us suppose this is called in Cartesian coordinates x y z so if we now if we want to find the moment of inertia about x axis so this is the axis x axis so here masses would be distributed so the distance of the masses from this axis is given by y and z values so just imagine it so 
this is uh, yz plane so they are they would all lie in yz planes these masses and their distance from the x axis is given by uh, y their corresponding y and z values so that only those values gives us the distance of the um, particles from the x axis so if we are taking x axis as the reference so masses would be different so m r square so uh, mass uh, at a particular point what is the mass present and its distance from the x axis which is given by y z plane because this line this line would line in the y z plane parallel y z planes uh, that's why if you are uh, considering about uh, x axis moment of inertia i axis we are having the uh, y square plus z square in the question so now what we need to do is uh, do integration so this is of the form integration of a plus b dv so we can just split up the integration so integration of y square dx dy dz rho and plus integration of rho z square dx dy dz and now what we have to do is we need to perform integration so here and uh, if we see integration of uh, this is volume integral so that is nothing but three integrals we would have so integration of dx integration of y square dy integration of dz like that and if we uh, follow those integration rules so integration of dx x value ranges from 0 to a so from the figure 0 to a we are if we are considering about this corner so about this corner 0 0 0 about that corner if we consider x value ranges from 0 to a as a is the length of the cube so 0 to a so integration of dx is nothing but x so x uh, limit ranging from 0 to a so a minus 0 and in the same manner for integration of dz also same thing would happen so z 0 to a so a into a a square so rho into a square we are having and integration of y square dy uh, it is nothing but x uh, integration of x power n dx that is nothing but x power n plus 1 by n plus 1 so hence we would be having uh, y power m 2 plus 1 by 2 plus 1 that is y cube by 3 and applying the limits by value also ranges from 0 to a so a cube minus 0 cube by 3 so that is nothing but a cube by 3 so that is the calculation here also the same thing would happen integration of z square dz z cube by 3 so a cube by 3 and integration of x uh, d integration of 1 dx is x so a minus 0 and integration of 1 dy is y so 0 to a a minus 0 so we would have uh, these two terms and a cube into a square is a power 5 here also a power 5 by 3 so rho a power 5 by 3 here also rho a power 5 by 3 that is 2 times rho a power 5 by 3 and uh, as we already know rho is nothing but mass uh, distributed for unit volume of the cube so that is the entire mass of the cube is capital m and entire volume of the cube is a cube so hence rho is nothing but m by a cube so in the place of rho capital m by a cube and a cube and uh, on the top uh, a cube a square into a cube a cube a cube would get cancelled and what would remain is 2 by 3 m a square so this is the moment of inertia of the uh, sphere about x axis in the same manner about y axis z axis if we do calculation we would get 2 by 3 m a square same value y means cube is symmetrical in shape because of the symmetry of the cube this uh, i y y i z z would also be the same inertia uh, inertia about x y axis inertia about z axis that means about that axis we are finding the mass distribution so moment of inertia is nothing but mass distribution and uh, next thing is uh, we need to find out uh, i x y now uh, we have found out i x x i y y i z z uh, y means formula for moment of inertia tensor that is i is nothing but i x x i x y i y i x z next thing i y x i y y so
so this is i by y i y z and this is i z x i z y i z z so this is nothing but moment of inertia tensor so we need to find out the overall line elements so already this principal diagonal elements we have found out we have found out uh, this principal diagonal elements that is i x s i y y i z z equals to 2 by 3 m a square now remaining elements other than this principal diagonal elements we need to find out now i x y formula for i x y moment of inertia about x y axis so x y axis is uh, is equal to minus integration of rho x y dx dy so if we take about uh, considering about x y axis we are having only x y terms only but in, in case of x x we are having y square z square terms so so about x y means so this is x this is y so x y means this is the x y axis we can consider in between x or y or uh, towards x or towards y so that is nothing but x y axis so if this is the axis the distance of any point from this axis would be given by uh, value of uh, by the x y plane only about this point distance um, whether it is above or below the distance of any mass from that axis is given by y its corresponding x and y values so how much uh, it is so in that it would lie as it would uh, lie in this plane as that axis would lie in uh, this uh, x y axis would lie in that x y plane so any mass distribution would be given by these uh, x y points on points so that is the thing so uh, a formula for i x y is in, uh, minus integration of rho x y dx dy dz and we are using rho integration y means that is continuous distribution of mass and now what we need to do is uh, as this is a vol volume integral so we are uh, integrating separately each term so integration of x dx integration of y dy integration dz so here x value ranges from 0 to a so integration of x dx is nothing but x power n plus 1 by n plus 1 that is 2 1 plus 1 by 1 plus 1 x square by 2 upper limit minus lower limit that is a square minus 0 square by 2 so this is for x and now for y also y square by 2 and a square minus 0 square by 2 and uh, integration of z is nothing but z that is upper limit minus lower limit is a minus 0 a so here also we would have minus rho a power 5 by 4 but we know already that uh, rho is nothing but mass per unit volume that is capital M by A cube. So A cube, A cube will get cancelled. What would remain is minus MA square by 4 to those are 4. So uh, in the same manner I, Y, X, uh, I, Y, X, I, X, Z, I, Z, X and uh, I, Y, Z, I, Z, Y all of them would be equal to this value minus MA square by 4 because uh, the cube is uh, symmetrical in shape whether the this is x y axis whether it is y z axis or uh, whether it is uh, x y y z or z x uh, axis so wherever if we consider the axis the mass distribution would remain the same because of the symmetric nature of the cube so all of the remaining elements that is i x y i x z i y x i y z i z x i z y all of them are all equal to minus m a square by 4 just like i x s i y y i z z are equal to 2 by 3 m a square so these are all the elements equal to minus m a square by 4 this is because of the symmetric nature of the cube so overall what we have the inertia tensor tensor is in the place of i x s we are having 2 by 3 m a square so i y y i z z also the same and in the place of i x y i y x i z x so all of them remaining the elements other than principal diagonal elements all of them are equal to minus m a square by 4 so here it is given m minus m a square by 4 minus m a square by 4 so everywhere other than principal diagonal elements every remaining all the elements are equal to minus m a square by 4 so
this is the uh, moment of inertia matrix so this was the thing we needed to find out find out so thank you